Hey guys, Shadow Bloke here, and today I'm going to be starting another new playthrough since I've been getting so many new games recently that I can't actually just keep them sat here long enough to just let them disappear into nothingness. So I'm going to start off today playing The Order 1886, and I kind of know what to expect from this, to be honest. I mean, I sort of went along with the idea that it was like Victorian werewolf hunters and all that sort of thing. I think that's kind of what it's about. But obviously, when I realized that you could put this game on like a hard mode, I thought I've got to put this on the channel. So here we are, I guess. Let's get this show on the road. My controller is already vibrating. Wake up, Fred. Hey. <coughs> uh, uh, giving up the ghost now, didn't we? Fancy another rant? I have no idea what this guy's done, but this is horrible. I'm just getting started. Not to worry. We'll come back and have another go later, aren't we? Right. I must say, I don't really know what the format of this game is going to be like. I don't know whether it's like the sort of other type of shooters where it's levels or it's all just going to be a continuous thing. So we'll see as that goes along. But again, with like the whole thing with Wolfenstein, because I saw that that was a bit of a thing as well. These subtitles are really small, so I do hope you guys can actually read them whilst I'm happen to be talking over this. But if not, then I'll just not say anything for now. Sweet dreams, mate. Time for your morning bath, my lord. That guy looks like Liam Neeson. At this rate, I don't think he's going to last much longer. <laughs> Come on now, just a few more steps. If this is the 20th day of November 1886, either this game takes place in a really short time, Here we go again. or this must be like one of those sorts of things where it shows you what happens at the end, and then you start back at the beginning and work your way up to the scene. You about ready? These things take time. Put him back here. <laughs> Do this all day, mate. Oh, all right then. Why, you little Ouch. Oh, okay, mashing. Nothing too wrong with a quick time event, I guess, so long as they don't overdo it. Man, this guy looks beat. So, I've never played this game. Um, obviously, as I mentioned, as soon as I found out that you could play this on hard, I was like, nope, 
I'm only going to go as far as the main menu. I want to save the rest of the gameplay and everything else for the channel so that you could get, I guess, a more genuine reaction out of it. Because I find that with the Wolfenstein and Advanced Warfare playthroughs, I've already played through those games before, so my reactions to events aren't exactly genuine as such. Um, what am I looking at here exactly? Oh, the barrel, okay. Just or the chamber. God, the way they're building this up and the pacing of this, I, if I didn't know any better, I would think this is a Final Fantasy game. If this drags on for a little bit too long, I might just skip ahead to a slightly better part and give you the rundown on what's been going on. Something's going on there. But what could it be? I have a gun that's not loaded and I'm afraid to use it. He has a gun! He has a gun! Whoa, fellas, whoa! Whoa there. That's some pretty, um, what's the word? It's quite harsh as it were, like almost Russian World War II sort of harsh, where you've just got to, like, even your own guys are going to shoot at you if it means taking out the enemy. Oh wow, okay, this is very telltale, I have to say. This guy looks... Nope, not him. Where is he? There he is. This guy looks savvy as fuck. So, on the off chance that I happen to just skip ahead to this bit, basically what's happened is that the guy who I've been controlling is a member of this, like, secret order, I'm guessing, who he has betrayed somehow, and... Um, he's basically just fallen off a really tall building to escape from everyone. But now I, this has to be like some sort of flashback or something here because obviously now he is still a member of, yeah, the 12th day of October. So this is a flashback as I guessed before, the start of it was just going to be like a little sort of, oh yeah, this is what happens at the end of the game. Now you have to play everything before it to build up to all of that. That is a nice gun, I have to say. I'm quite glad though, as you may have seen before, that this game does in fact have chapters, so I will hopefully be able to keep each episode down to one chapter depending on how long they are. Tell you what, if these guys are supposed to be a secret order of knights, you can't get more knight-like than Galahad, since, you know, Galahad, the greatest knight of King Arthur's round table and all that. Because most people will probably know Lancelot, but it was actually Galahad. Galahad is the main guy. He's where it's at, you know? Out the front door, I'm guessing. Nope. Well... That's my plan out the window, or I can just go out the window. Nailed it. Basically Assassin's Creed. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this, like, cinematic sort of filter that it's got on it. You see, with the two, like, black bars on the top and the bottom? Kind of like when you're watching a film, because I find that it kind of means that your sort of window to look at things is rather small which is also why I don't have a little sort of window in the corner of any of my videos which has got like a face cam or anything because I just find it detracts from the video itself and the gameplay. Hmm, yes. Yes, I see now. This is crap. Okay, pressing L3 even though the game said I could press L3 earlier to make me move faster. I'm now restricted to walking pace. Good start. How did you arrive here so quickly? Quickly? Skilled. Like, 
I just, you do move. Gah, I don't range. even. Alright then. Let's see where we've got to go now. I damn well hope that there better be something interesting coming along soon because not so much for my sake, but more for your guys' sake because I want these things to be like kind of interesting. You know what I mean? And sometimes I think that. Like, I don't know. I doubt myself. But she's got a gun out, so I sure as hell hope that I can shoot things. And then we can get down to some proper skill. Well, I have to say so far, the amount of in-game cinematics that have been taking place is ludicrous. So, um, unless something interesting comes along in the next couple of minutes, let's just cut right to the shooting. <laughs> Oh, this looks like something. Galahad, take is... cover. Oh, God. Okay. This is definitely something. Let's get to work. Ah. He's got a revolver. I can take him down. Um, secondary weapon. Why do I got to use my pistol? Oh, well. Um, oh, there we go. I can't aim as such. Oh, there we go. This is better. Move up. So, from the looks of it, they're kind of going with the very sort of, um, what's the word? Very bog standard, that's it. Bog standard, sort of like modern shooter health system. So no health bar, but you just regenerate health anyway, which is alright. It's a bit easier than having a health bar because, for example, playing Wolfenstein on, um, the hardest setting is much harder than playing um, Advanced Warfare or any other Call of Duty on Veteran because you can just regenerate health quite easily. Whereas with Wolfenstein, sure, you can regenerate health, but you still have a health bar, so you're losing health all the time. It says R1 at the bottom there. What does that do? Um, What was that? Is that... Okay... All right, let's move up. Ah, oh, there he is. All right, have at you. Street clear. I must admit, third-person shooters, not always my thing, because it's kind of hard to aim right now, but perseverance, as it were. Oh, God, more dudes. Okay. Well, at least they've only got pistols, so easy job for me for now, I guess. Where is he? There he is. I do like, though, that they've kind of gone with the uh, a similar sort of thing that Advanced Warfare have in that they give like red hit markers for when you've killed an enemy. That's pretty useful because sometimes you can't quite tell when you've killed an enemy. Down. Nothing around here. Oh, there we go. Good thing I took the cover behind that uh, little doorway then. Oh man, they got a hostage. We gotta move! Hurry. More bedlamites in That is some swagging clothes there. I pay big money for some of that. Stun. Take the shot. Oh, that's like a stun thing, is it? That's kind of cool, I guess. <gasps> um, smoke grenades. Okay, so let's just uh, L two to aim, R two to throw it. Okay, let's go now. Okay, that kind of didn't go how I wanted it to. Let's go. But at least I should be pretty safe now, wherever I need to move to. Let's try. Oh. Nope, that table's not going to do it. And neither is this one. Oh god, I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot. Run away, run away. Well, at least I'm alive, if horribly injured. But thanks to the miracles of modern gaming, time heals all wounds. Even if this is on hard mode, I find you've got a lot of health. 
maybe this won't be too hard for me after all. You see, this is why I don't really like third-person shooters, because that giant pole is in the way if you stand in the wrong place. That wouldn't happen in an FPS as such, because it would be right in your face, and you'd be able to tell the move somewhere. That would better be all of them. Oh, of course not. I say that every time, and there's always one guy skulking around in the corner who thinks he can kill me. We need to get up. Now then, can I do something? Or not? Oh, I can, but still, that's one thing which I find a bit of a problem with having a cinematic filter on the game all the time, is that you kind of struggle to tell what's a cinematic and what you can just watch, and when it's gameplay, when you actually have to do something, which, as I've had experience with in other games that have done that, can just get you killed. Okay, um, let's see, maybe I can stealth this guy, perhaps. Ooh. Oh my, wow, that's brutal. Oh god, uh, there she is, okay, through this door I reckon. Oh god, what's going on, um, oh Jesus, oh god. Um, uh, okay, is, nope, that's not it, I'm, oh god, this is weird, this is, this is kind of like, um, uh, um, oh, let me think, this is kind of like, um, a little bit of Hitman, that sort of thing, but also, a little bit, if anyone's ever played the, uh, Jason Bourne game for PS3, well, I played it on PS3, I can't remember what it was called, but it's got a similar sort of system to that, where you can, like, lock in your target, and you can just fire bullets at them pretty easily. It's a pretty handy ability to have. I'm not saying that there's not anything wrong with it, but it's kind of quite confusing how it just sort of sprung it on me like that. Sir, downstairs. There are civilians who need your assistance. Yes, sir. Sir, General Raphael is... <laughs> you are not fit to hang around with us super police. This... Already looks like a bad idea. What's going on with this guy? That's quite a fancy transmitter there on his shoulder, but still, these dark corridors give me the willies. This guy looks dodgy. Well, that would be why. Everyone, one of our escape pieces are half -breed. You're damn right he is. Hmm. Just judging the werewolf design they've got going on here, I it's kinda good. I like the fact that that they've gone for like quite a large sort of werewolf, but at the same time, they don't really have a lot of hair on them, which is what I kind of expect from werewolves, so that's disappointing, but whatever, they all die the same. I've got to finish him, have I? Finish him! Galahad wins. Fatality. Oh god, there's more. Get out of here. Just, no. Oh, God, no. I can't die. That would be terribly embarrassing. Where? He's just... Oh, my God. He's coming out of nowhere. Where is he? There he is. Can I stun him? I can. Well, I can keep him back anyway. Um. Oh, no. No. Ah. I guess I was right earlier. I mean... You saw how many times that guy had to attack me to kill me, and this is on hard mode, I think. Let me double check. I can confirm that it is on hard mode, but at the same time, it kind of feels easy. And I'm not being cocky here. Okay, it's given me a prompt when he's about to attack. It looks like it might be X, so maybe I can do something. When he's about to attack, I can dodge. That's good. Oh my god. So, there is like a quick time event which lets you get out of that sort of grapple, but as you saw, it is extremely fast. I guess that's one way you can make the game harder. 
How about you, you bastard? I'll take you down. Oh, there's another guy. There's uh, werewolf number two. Let's hope there's no more than two of them. Because that would just be a pain. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Alright, I can take him down. If I can just get a bead on him. Oh my god, he just came out of nowhere. All these werewolves just coming out of nowhere. This is just... Ugh. Okay, so. So far we've established that there are three werewolves I have to kill. This is not looking good for me so far. Oh, come on, finish him before he attacks! Now then, do I still recover health in this cinematic or not? I don't think I do. Still, I can always just mash X and dodge his attacks while I recover. Yep, that's all I'm doing right now. Just mashing X until I recover. Alright, it's going to come down there. And then I can get a few bullets in him. And then, hopefully, he's the last guy. Nope, he's escaping. Monsieur! What happened? I slew most of them. The last one got away. Hey, Grain, I need your arc gun. I'll head up An arc gun? That sounds epic. Go that way and head him off. Oh my god, he's out in the streets. Hold R2 to fully charge this weapon. This looks awesome. Does it, like, do I keep having to hold down R2? I do. Okay then. Well. At least I know that now. While pushing forward on... Oh, it's just telling me how to sprint. Oh, that's cool. I can use sprint to cancel the charge on the arc gun. Just in case I happen to charge it for no apparent reason like I did before. Oh, he's escaping. This guy's fast. He's basically Sonic. Alright. Holy shit. Take two. Ah. Yep, he's definitely a werewolf. Everyone alright? 